Hi, my name is Blake and I am a student in the Marriage and Family Therapist Master's Program here at OBU. And this is my therapy dog, Moose, and today we want to talk to you about health and wellness during COVID-19. So first of all, we want to give you some helpful tips and reminders on how to keep yourself and the ones that you love safe. Now, first, you can make sure that you're washing your hands frequently with soap and water and using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Next, try not to touch your face. Now this one's gonna be a little more difficult, but did you know on average, each person touches their face 23 times an hour, and that is touching their eyes, their nose, and their mouth. So with that being said, make sure you're covering your coughs and sneezes with your elbow or your upper arm and washing your hands in between. Next, Make sure you add lots of water to your diet and those fruits and vegetables. We wanna boost our immune system and that's an easy and simple way to do so. Next, and maybe the most important, is to stay home if you're feeling sick. Do your part in keeping our community safe and healthy. You can't avoid the stress that you're feeling now, but maybe we can work together to manage that in a better way. So many of our anxiety and stress coping skills and activities that we've used have been taken away from us or they're changing. So finding new and creative ways to manage that will only help better our mental and physical well-being. So maybe we can try this by tapping into our creative side through journaling, painting, drawing, or maybe playing a new instrument. Next, let's calm our mind and body through yoga, meditation, or even deep breathing. And thankfully, there are many resources online that we can use to help us do this safely from home. Next, let's enjoy the outdoors. God gave us this great and amazing place to explore and to enjoy. So why not go out for a walk with your dog, maybe ride your bike, or our most favorite activity right now is enjoying our meals outdoors. Lastly, let's practice gratitude by making lists of things that we're thankful for. Maybe this is even creating a collage of things that bring us joy through magazine clips or maybe drawings that we have collected over the years. Stress, uncertainty, and change can really disrupt the healthy habits that we have in place. So I challenge you this week to try new and creative ways to manage your physical and mental well-being. And Moose and I, we wish you well.